Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is focusing on this look right here. I thought I'll just do another ombre cut crease look because my last one just went so successful. You guys have tagged me in your recreations on Facebook and on Instagram and you've sent your snaps in. And I was like, I'm just gonna do another one. If you know me, you know I'm a sucker for a mustard um, eyeshadow. Legit, I love anything mustard, and I was like, right, this gives me a chance to do like an ombre cut crease, but this time using like mustard. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I think this one's a lot more wearable compared to the other one um, that I have done. But if you have yet to see that tutorial, I will leave it linked in in the description box below, so you can go ahead and watch that after this one. Um, so yeah. It suited all beginner, like it suited all skill levels between beginner to advanced to in the middle. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, right, I'm gonna do what another one. So yeah, this is what today's tutorial is focusing on. And if you would like to see how I created this wee look, then just keep on watching. So the next shape we're gonna go in with is mustard, and this is from the Lame Crime Venus 2 palette. I'm taking that on a 223 Lux Crease Brush from Zoeva. And we are just putting this throughout the whole entire crease area. What I did on the other eye was I went in with a little bit of lemon drop, I believe. Yes, lemon drop from Makeup Geek. But it wasn't really, really pigmented. And I tried and tried to build it up, but as it was blending, it was just like fading into nothing. So this I realized that I had in my makeup bag. So I was just like, do you know what? We'll start to use this instead. So we're just gonna blend that throughout the whole entire crease. Starting in the center, bringing it in as always. And as you get to the outer corner, you're going to really, really diffuse that product. Okay, so the next shade that we're going to go in with is from Makeup Geek and this is Tan Lines. So I just have like pretty much all my wee shades in the custom AC palette and I'm just going to take that on a more tapered sort of blending brush. I'm going to mix Tan Lines in with Cabin Fever from Makeup Geek. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to blend this throughout the whole entire crease. So this is like more of like a bullet sort of type of tapered brush if that makes sense. So I'm just going really really light handedly with this shade. Especially with this particular brush because I just want to place it in certain areas. Guys, if you're doing a cut crease, I don't know, like I've probably said this in so many videos, but you need to make sure that the intensity of colour is the exact same through the whole entire look. Just so that way when you cut your crease, you're going to see all that real nice definition of colour that you have blended out um, throughout your crease, obviously. The only time I'll never take a colour throughout my crease is if it's like a really dark shade, such as like a really dark brown and a black. I'll only keep that towards the outer corner like I've done with this side. So you're still continuing to blend that all together. Then what you'll do is you'll go back in with your previous brush in the previous shade, which is the mustard from the Lime Cream palette. And you're just gonna go over those edges, making sure that they're all blending together nicely. But now that that's done, you just want to take a more smaller brush, like a more pencil brush. Um, this one is the Lux Pencil Brush from Zoeva, so this is the 230. I'm going to take the shade Bada Bing from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to sort of put this towards the outer corner and bring it like a third in. This brush is so, so small, and it's, it will be perfect for really defining your crease. So I'm going to really define my outer corner with it start to build up that colour. Just going in a circular motion and then using your window wipers to sort of diffuse it in towards the inner portion of the lid. Once you have done that, <laughs> you're going to go back in with your two previous shades 
and you're just going to go over those edges of the bada bing making sure that everything is blended seamlessly together and then once again I'm just going to repeat that same process and put it right through the outer portion of the crease then go back in again one last time with those last two shades and just slightly going over those little edges So we'll start to work on the lower lash line before heading back on to the lid space or the lid area. I'm going to take mustard from the Venus palette again just on a little bullet brush and I'm going to take that underneath the eye. So guys see it especially if you're using like mustards or yellows. Be careful with how far you take them down underneath the eye because I do love, you guys know I do love a really really sort of intense blend under the eyes but you just need to be careful especially with colors like this because if you blend it too far down it could look like a black eye so just be careful with how far you blend it down so as you can see today I haven't brought it as far down as what I usually would so I'm just using my window wipe brush to blend that product out just going back and forth back and forth sorry side to side and then I'm just going to take a more smaller sort of smudger brush, if you will. And I'm going to go in with those two shades, um, the Cabin Fever and the Tanline shade from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to place that just around the lash line area. Just like so, just for a wee bit of sort of definition under there oh my god guys if you hear shouting in the video my wee nephew's here and he always misbehaves so my mummy just has not stopped shouting at him all day because he literally doesn't do a thing that he's told so if you hear any shouting throughout the video then you know exactly what that is okay so i've just went ahead and put in the, I can't even see it, it's just so dark. Why do I have black writing on a brown pencil? Like you can't even see what it is. It's a slide on eye pencil from NYX and it's in the shade Brown Perfection. We'll get that. <laughs> um, so I've just been really loving more so brown eyeliners in the water and I just think it makes a look a wee bit more natural looking like, instead of so harsh with a lot of black going on underneath. Um, so I put that on in the waterline and I'm going to take the Bada Bing shade from Makeup Geek and a slight bit of the boot shade from the Venus palette mixed together just on a little smudger brush for under the eyes. And I'm just going to run this under the lash line slightly. Just going side to side. Just to put in a slight bit more of definition. You can just put a little bit on at the other corner if you want to, but I'm just going to take it the whole way across the lash line. I'm also going to take another wee bit and put it on this side as well. There's one thing that I've noticed guys, um, these pencils don't stay on very well. I don't know if you can see, but it's already starting to come off. Um, I only tried it yesterday and I've only tried it today. And I don't have this eye makeup on very long. So if I was to wear this out on a night out, would it come off completely on a night out? Because I hate when you have eyeliners on like that and then you look and your eyes are like, you're like, what the hell, where's my eyeliner? So that's one thing that I have noticed that this liner does. It's all starting to wear off um in the waterline so let me know if that happens to you i don't know i just hate when that happens so guys i'm going to speed this bit up um because it does take me a good wee while to carve my crease out but basically all i use is a little detailed shader brush from zueva and the collection last and perfection concealer in the shade fur you can use any concealer or any brush of your choice but personally i prefer little small detailed brush like brushes like this sorry so all I do is I push into my crease and I pull the product down and the only time I'll go round like this 
is whenever I'm cleaning the little bit of the, the concealer up that is sort of like messy if you get my so I'm gonna speed it up you'll be able to see what I'm talking about anyway So I have just picked up a little bit of the white shade from the matte spectrum palette from Zoeva. This is what it looks like. So this is the shade that I'm going to be using here. It's just a matte white shade. Any shade will do. But personally I think this one is like the most pigmented white shade I have ever used. Um, like it's so hard to find like a real white that is not chalky or anything like that but this one is like super super buttery so I've just took that on a little flat brush and what I'm doing is I'm just pushing that in to the areas that I have placed obviously the concealer and because our concealer is damp this is going to set the concealer in place and obviously this is how we're going to get our ombre sort of effect so pushing that in and then we'll blend it out once it's all pushed in to that little area I can literally never do a video one piece here there's always something going on I'm taking the mustard shade from the Zoeva or sorry the Lame Crown palette and I'm just going to put that on center pushing it in again guys and once it's all pushed in I will start to blend that all out make sure that the colors are blended seamlessly together because it'll just look like one big black of color one big black of color one big black of color if you don't properly blend them all out together so once I have it all placed in I'm sort of just using like window wiper motions to blend the colours and together. Basically now what I'm doing is I'm taking that Bada Bing shade again from Makeup Geek and also a little bit of the boot shade from Makeup Geek and I'm placing that towards the outer corner for further definition and to blend obviously this part here of the mustard shade. Otherwise, if we left it like that, it would just look like one big block of colour like I said previously. And then you're going to go back in again with your sort of tapered blending brush with no extra product and just making sure that everything is all blended together nicely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do my eyeliner and I'm going to do that off camera or well, I'm going to speed it up. Um, I'm just creating the same type of shape that I have done in the last couple of videos. Um, so I'm going to speed it up, you'll see what I'm doing anyway. Then I'm just going to take my Luxe Pencil Brush again with a little bit more of Bada Bing and Boot and I'm going to make sure that I get those little edges all blended out together towards the outer corner and just making sure that you can't see where that liner basically stops. So you're just patting the product all on first to get that 
sort of coverage that you want of the shades first and then you'll start to use your blend motions to blend it all out so pat 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 and then you're going to start to blend it around in circular motions but also sort of using like window wiper motions as well to do it so going around yeah, I'll sort of into the mustardy shade again a little bit more of the product and then that's us so I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes off camera and then I will come back and we'll start the face so once again guys I am going to speed everything up um, so I am going to tell you obviously step by step what I'm going to be using but once again everything's going to be sped up a wee bit so for my highlighter I'm going to be using the number 17 pigment from Helen A and I'm going to be taking that on an angled highlighting brush from Real Techniques For my contour today, I am going to be using the Harmony Blush by MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to be taking that on a angled contour and brush. So for my bronzer today, I am going to be mixing two shades together. So I'm going to be taking the Medium Tan and the Give Me Sun Skin Finishes from MAC and I'm going to be taking them on a multitask brush from Real Techniques. So for my blush today, if this would focus, for my blush today I am taking the 06 Baked Blush by Milani um, and I'm just taking that on a little blusher brush. So of course for my lips today I am going in with the Cappuccino Lip Liner by Collection and over the top I'm going for a gloss today so I'm using the Burley Nude Gloss and this is by Makeup Studio. So guys, this is the end of the tutorial. I really do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a big massive thumbs up. It would mean the absolute world to me if you did. Also, subscribe to my channel before you leave. Click the notification bell over in the corner and you will get notified every single time I upload a video. All products that I have used um, will be listed down in the description box below along with all my other social media. Please let me know also in the comment section below, guys, um, what type of tutorials you would like to see next. Um, if you have seen my Instagram story the other week or the other day, sorry, um, you will know that I have spoke about I need to know what you want to see for my content um, I want to keep my content like a 50-50 sort of skill level that is suitable for beginners and suitable for more advanced skill level um, but I need to know what you would like to see so if it's sent me DMs on Instagram if it's Snapchat me photos of anything that you would like to see um, please let me know also I really need to sort of keep up with what you want to see. I'm just sitting down and sort of creating looks and hoping for the best, hoping you guys like them. Um, so it would be highly appreciative if you guys would let me know. So yeah, that's what I want you to do. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you on my next one.